Hello everyone, my name is Sabrina Melodius. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to learn how to make this wonderful and fun stitch. Now my item is not currently finished. I am working on a blanket, like a lap size blanket, and uh, I was going to do a tutorial from start to finish. However, I decided to make it a short one because I'm just going to show you how to make this beautiful and fun stitch. Look how wonderful this stitch is. It is so textured, 3D and just crumb delicious. Honestly, it just is amazing. I don't know if you can just see just how 3D this is, but this really is really 3D. Let's take a closer look, shall we? Uh, okay, this is as close as I can get. Look at this. It truly, truly is really really 3d look at this it's so much fun as well and it is just a two row repeat so i change color every two rows but you could just work that in one solid color and um i'm about 19 inches long so i want it to be quite uh longer so I started here. So I also want to quickly touch on the border situation is that whilst you are working with this, you will see that you will not really need a border. Why not? Well, look at the bottom of this blanket. This is how it looks. I think it looks nice and uh, neat and it really doesn't need a border. The side of the work is just as lovely. This is how it looks. So as you can see, it's still quite nice and neat and you don't really need a border for this. So when you reach uh, the size desired of your item, what I would suggest here is when you finished your last row of this stitch, is that instead of cutting your yarn, like I did, don't do that, simply chain one, turn your work around, around, <laughs> and by the way, this is how it looks on the wrong side, this is the back side. So now that you've chained your uh, one chain and turn your work around, you're simply going to work a single crochet in each stitch, so that your top of your work will look just like the bottom of your work. And so I really don't think that you need to do a border, although this is completely optional. You can do any border of your choosing, of course. But again, let's take a look at this beautiful and fun stitch. This is amazing. This is going to be a real quick tutorial and I hope that you will fall in love with this as much as I have. Okay, so what do you need to achieve this? Let's talk about materials. So to achieve this stitch, you will need to use, of course, some yarn of your choosing. I'm going to use some DK which is Stylecraft Special DK. And um, let's see if I can zoom this in a little bit more. Okay. Special DK. Can you actually see that? I don't know. Okay, so anyhow, I'm using Special DK. You can use any weight yarn that you want. Uh, the only thing is that I would suggest is if you're going to um, be using this stitch in view to make a baby blanket, I would highly, highly recommend that you use a yarn that is no thicker than a DK. The reason why is because it's going to be super uh, thick and it's going to be a little bit heavier than the average uh, blanket because of the nature of this stitch. 
So I wouldn't do anything bigger than a DK, but you can use any yarn of your choosing. You could use a thinner yarn, you could use um, a sock yarn, you could use even thinner, or you could use like a number four weight, which is an iron weight yarn, or chunky, or any yarn of your choosing. For this uh, particular uh, tutorial, I'm going to use my Starcraft Special DK and you are going to need to use uh, the size recommended for your yarn. So I am going to use a 4 millimeter hook. <laughs> I don't know if you'll be able to see that. It is my 4 millimeter hook. Now, as well as those things, uh, to make this actual stitch here, some people may find it okay to use without any help but personally um, throughout most of this item here that I'm showing you I have used a cable needle and I've uh, checked the uh, actual size of this needle which is a four millimeter this is the same size as my four millimeter crochet hook I hope you can see that. This is 4 millimeter and this is 4 millimeter. If you don't have a cable needle, simply get another 4 millimeter crochet hook and use simultaneously. And I will show you why that is. And I think this is a really, really helpful tool when you are working this kind of stitch, which is called either a spring stitch or a bullion stitch but uh, this one is kind of a fake bullion stitch and I will show you why that is as well the fake bullion stitch is work really really uh, differently to the actual bullion stitch but is really similar so I am going to show you that in a moment Okay, we are ready to start. So to start, we are going to have to do a number of stitches. Now the repeat, uh, the multiple number of stitches is simply three. So you're going to do your item as big as you want it to be in multiples of three. So you're gonna chain three. One, two, three. Is it big enough? Well, I don't think so. So you're going to do more chains. So one, two, three. And is it big enough? No. One, two, three. One, two, three. So this is a really short tutorial to show you how this is achieved. So I am simply going to uh, chain 12. But you go ahead and chain the number of stitches that you need. So now that you have done that, the first row is very, very simple. And I hope this will um, be able to focus nicely for you to see. So the first row is you're going to uh, go into the second chain from the hook and do a single crochet. Next stitch is a single crochet. And you're going to do a single crochet in every chain until you reach the end of the row. So I'll pause and I'll meet you at the end. I have reached the end of my row now I have 11 stitches, but uh, your number of stitches should be different to mine. Um, so the multiple of stitches will then change from the number of chains. You will have a number of three stitches plus two. So three plus three, uh, three times three equals nine plus two equal 11. This is how I got my number of stitches. So now that we have done that, we are ready to uh, move on to row number two. 
Row number two, you are going to chain two and this is going to act as your first double crochet. You're going to turn your work around and as you can see your first double crochet will come from this stitch. So you're going to have to remember that this first stitch here is already skipped because we have done the chain two which is uh, a replacement for a double crochet. So now we are going to work on our first um, spring stitch or fake boolean stitch. Now it is very important that you work all your stitches on your hook very very loosely which is why I recommend that you either use a um, a cable needle or a number four millimeter crochet hook or even a three millimeter that'll do and what that is is when you're working the, the stitches together like so here this will produce uh, these will produce a much looser loop on your hook and will make it a lot easier for you to go through all the loops when you work your spring or fake boolean stitch. I hope that makes sense. So I'm going to do one without and then I will do the others with. Remember that if you do need one of those, don't hesitate to use those, especially if you are a very tight crocheter and you just do not know how to control your yarn and make your stitches looser. But I will show you that in a moment. Okay, so remember what I've just said, you need to produce your loops now very, very loosely. So this is how you're going to produce your first one. You're going to wrap the yarn around your finger like so, and you're going to grab the yarn here and let go, just like you're going to produce a uh, slip stitch. So you've got one and you're going to do another. Two, again remember to make them really loosely. As you can see this is quite loose. So two, then again, three, and you're going to do that a number of ten times. So at the end you will have 11 loops on your hook. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8, 9 and 10. Okay and make sure that they really are quite looser as you can see here. It truly is important. So now that you have your 11 loops on your hook, you're going to go back to this piece. Now remember the first stitch is, skip it, is skipped because uh, the chain 2 replaces the first double crochet. So now you are going to skip two single crochet, so skip that one and skip that one and you are going to the next one which is uh, this one here. Put your hook into this stitch just like so and pull the yarn through. Okay so now you have 12 loops on your hook and what you are going to do is pull your yarn, uh, draw up a loop from here what shall I, we call that? Oh, it's yarn your yarn over the hook. <laughs> My English is going elsewhere today. So uh, to help yourself, making sure that these loops are really nice and loose, pull them down with your finger and you're going to go through all of them except the last one. I really wish I could come closer. Okay, this is the closest. So you're going to yarn through all these loops except the last one. So let's do that. 
there we are and then you're going to pull the yarn a little bit higher just like so and you're going to pull through the last two loops just like so now the next bit is really important remember the last two the last uh, two stitches that we skipped we're going to go into those and make some double crochet but from the back but not only that this next bit is completely optional but we are going to go through that loop as well that was achieved by producing this uh, spring stitch or fake bullion stitch. Now you don't have to do that but if you don't you will see that little bit in the front here and personally I, I don't find that appealing. So this is uh, absolutely optional but I am going to go through this hole just like so through this hole and go to the back side where the two um, uh, skip stitches are and the way I, I can see that is by looking at the front and I can see my two stitches here so the first one is there and I'm going to do my first double crochet this is how it looks now on my hook I have four loops so you're going to yarn over pull the yarn through I now have three loops and so now you're going to pull through two and pull through two and you're going to do that again pull the uh, crochet hook through this hole here and look at the second stitch here and do your double crochet like so yarn over pull the yarn through and complete your double crochet great now we have done our first spring stitch or fake bullion stitch and uh, this uh, second row is the right side so let's carry on and now I'm going to bring in uh, something to help me okay so if you're going to use a crochet hook to help you with that you're just not going to put it like this because this will interfere so you're going to put the other end right here like that here so now let's produce our next uh, spring stitch or fake bullion stitch so you're going to uh, as we would say with knitting you're going to cast on 10 stitches onto these two needles together okay so uh, grab your yarn just like so just like you're going to do a slip stitch also and through both like that you're going to do it 10 times so that's one two And uh, see, that's the mistake that is easily done. So just undo that. <clears throat> My voice is going elsewhere too. <laughs> okay, so I've, do I've, got, I've done it. I can't speak, you see. I've done it twice. So let's do it another eight times. So two. Three. And the more you do it, the more confident and quicker you will be as well. Three. Four five six seven eight eight because I'm behind the camera it's always awkward you know nine and ten great so as you can see I've got my ten loops here which is really a big help just to make sure that uh, the loops are going to be nice and loose so now this hook here that helped you you're gonna take it away take it off off and as you can see the loops are nice and loose yes 
So you're going back to your working piece and you're going to skip two stitches. So skip that one and that one and into this one here you're going to insert the hook into here and then yarn the yarn, uh, yarn uh, no what is it called yarn okay get the yarn over the hook like so and over and now you've got all your loops on the hook just like so make sure again that all your loops are nice and loose just like so and you're going to yarn over and pull through all the loops except the very last one okay are we ready to do that so yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook except the last one and pull the yarn a little bit higher just like so and now you're going to yarn over and pull through the last two loops on the hook there we are and now once again you are going to yar um, yarn over yes because you're going to do a double crochet insert your hook through here which is optional but I'm going to do that and working from behind the stitches you're going to create two double crochet from the last two um, uh, missed stitches <laughs> So go behind here and find your missed stitch, your first missed stitch. Grab the yarn and pull through. You have all these loops on the hook now, which uh, is a three. So you're going to now uh, complete your double crochet okay and you're going to go through the same hole again one more time and look for the second miss stitch here which is right there and you're going to yarn over pull through and complete your second missed uh, double crochet so now you have two beautiful uh, spring stitch or fake boolean stitch so I am going to do a boolean stitch one more time now we have achieved two spring stitches or fake boolean stitches and I really like to use these little things here because it makes all my uh, stitches really nice and regular as well so it is really really important that you use something to help you if you need it because if you uh, crochet really tightly and you've got all these loops on your hook then you will not be able to go through any loops at all and you will get so frustrated and not enjoy this experiment or experience and just give up completely which is such a shame because this is such a beautiful and such a fun stitch so uh, I am almost at the end of um, my row of course your number of stitches will be completely different to me so you may have quite a lot of you know stitches left so you have to do all your spring stitches or fake boolean stitches until you get to the end of your row when you are almost at the end of your row you will have four stitches left see one two three four so now I am ready to work on my last spring stitch or fake boolean stitch of my row and I'm going to use this this time which is my cable needle okay so I am ready to do my last uh, a stitch uh, boolean stitch or spring stitch of my row so I'm going to cast on my 10 stitches on these two needles all together so let's do this <laughs> uh, see I'm doing it again especially behind the camera it's so annoying okay 
Right. What I like to do is put that a little bit higher. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I have my ten stitches. Yes, I do. And now I'm going to take off the cable needle. And as you can see here, my stitches are really, really nice and loose. Really, I cannot emphasize that, how important that is. So you're going back to your last four stitches of the row and you're going to skip two. So skip that one and that one and go into this stitch here and insert your hook in the stitch and uh, get your yarn and pull it through and uh, there we are now you have all your loops on your hook and you're going to yarn over and pull through all the loops here except the last one leave that last one here so make sure that the stitches are nice and loose pull a little bit down and uh, there we are the spring stitches produced Pull this yarn a little bit higher, like so, okay, and then um, a yarn over and pull through the last two loops. There we go. Okay, now we need to do our uh, next two double crochet into the back. Remember, it's so important. So now I'm going to go through this hole here, insert your hook through this hole here and through the back here you can see the uh, skip stitches so you need to locate the first skip stitch which is right here through the back as you can see insert the hook in there yarn over pull through and you've got your three loops on your hook complete your double crochet and you're going to do that one more time yeah, uh, uh, yarn over of course because it's a double crochet insert the loop uh, the hook through this loop here and through the back locate your second skip stitch which is right here yarn over and pull through now you've got your three loops on your hook and complete your second double crochet and this is what we have so now you've got one stitch left, just a one. So you're going to uh, go ahead and just do a double crochet. And this is what we have. Now the two row repeat is as follow. Before I get on to the next uh, uh, row, it is uh, very um, noteworthy to note this as well. If you want to produce a blanket like me with all these different colors, um, if you're going to change color, now is the time to do it before you begin row one. After row two, simply chain one, cut your yarn, and then on the back side, you will just uh, weave in your ends like I do but you could work this into one color if you want you don't need to change colors uh, for me I just wanted to have fun with this one and really enjoying all these colors so yeah if you're going to change color now's the time to do it and then when you're ready to join your color you're simply going to turn this work around and uh, join with a slip stitch in the first stitch and then you'll be ready to begin. But now let's begin row number one of our two row repeat. So the first row is really simple. You're going to chain one and do a single crochet in each stitch. So here is our first stitch here do a single crochet and you're going to do 
all your single crochet oh I am so sorry uh, all single crochet until the end of the row now I'm almost there so I may as well carry on oh also I want to undo some as you're going through your stitches it's very important for you to see this so uh, you're going to do a single crochet in the top of each double crochet and then eventually you'll come through this kind of stitch which is really kind of loose this is because this is the stitch where you did your spring or boolean stitch and this do not skip it you need to do a single crochet inside please do not forget it's so important because it is a stitch so also do a single crochet in those so here are my next two double crochet that I did underneath and the next one is the boolean stitch or spring stitch from under there and you can see it because the loop is so much looser okay and then you've got your turning chain which is worked as a double crochet so on top of that uh, chain two you're going to do a single crochet so this is your row one completed okay so row one is complete so now you will chain two which will be a substitute for a double crochet for the row so this is acting as a double crochet so you're going to turn your work around and note that this stitch here is where the uh, chain 2 comes from it is as the double crochet so now what you're going to do is repeat this second row so if you want to go back um, rewind and rewatch this row because it basically is exactly the same the same exactly so you're going to repeat that row and then you'll have a second row of a uh, spring stitch or boolean stitch well fake one <laughs> so now that you will have produced your second row you will have to repeat rows one and two one and two one and two until you are happy with uh, the length of your item it is just so much fun and just so I really really love it so texture so squishy again let's let's zoom out a little you know it's just really an enjoyable uh, experience and just wonderful I'm really enjoying this project and I will be showing this blanket when it's complete in a future video and I think this one will be for myself when I watch TV so yeah I really really just love it how these stitches are just so um, textured and just wonderful you see how beautiful and textured and just oh I really love it so I hope that you've enjoyed this very short tutorial on how to do a spring stitch or a fake boolean stitch to incorporate into any of your projects just so wonderful honestly I just really really love it okay if you have any questions please don't hesitate to put them into the comment section or um, look into my description box below there will be my email address if you prefer to email me I will be more than happy to answer any questions or if you've got any suggestions uh, let me know if you like this stitch and are you going to experiment with it and have fun do you think you will have a project on your hook very soon which will include this beautiful stitch please let me know I am so eager to know 
Will you change colors? Will you just do one color for the project? I really, really am uh, wanting to know all this information from all of you. But especially if you are enjoying this, please let me know. <laughs> okay, so uh, thank you everyone for watching this little tutorial. And until the next time, happy knitting and crochet everyone!